Hello? 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 Yes, Hi. you're on. Am I on? Yep. Yep. Yes, are you related to Kermit the Frog? No, <laughs> actually. I am a fr fan of Kermit the Frog, though. Mm. Mm. Miss P is very popular as well. <laughs> Indeed. Although I can tell you, look, I have kissed a lot of frogs looking for a prince. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, number one, let's try this again. Good evening, this is NLC Trans, you're on the air. Hi, how are you tonight? Good evening, Great, how are you? you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm really enjoying your show. Thank you. I think you guys are doing a great thing for the community. Thank you so Thank you. much. I, I just wanted to ask, uh, I mean, I don't really need to go here, but with the political thing, uh, recently in the presidential debate, both candidates said that they were not for gay marriage. Now, right. I, just, I would like to know how you feel about this subject, because I, I, I don't know if it would be a hetero uh, marriage had, had, had one of you gone into wedlock. Um, yes, we, cer we oh. certainly can talk about this. Um, well, I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm obviously all for gay marriage. Mm. It's, a base, it's a question of basic human dignity, really, Indeed. in my mind. I mean, everyone deserves to have their relationships protected in the same way and, in fact, in the same context. Um, and if we're going to profess that we've separated church and state, then religious arguments shouldn't come into play. Yeah. Um, and if I was going to get married, it would certainly be pretty complicated for me. Yeah, right. It, it, um. It, um, it depends upon the laws of the particular state, whether or not um, you can legally get married as a man or a woman, depending on your state of transition, how far along you've gone. Um, once, you, once you cross the line and you're legally the other gender, there's no issue. The state recognizes a male and a female if, uh, uh, in the marriage. Um, as far as gay marriage goes, I've always, I've always had the opinion that, uh, that the discourse on gay marriage would be better served if we could separate the, um, the religious ceremony that, that is, to those that believe in it, um, sanctified, and the civil contract that you go to City Hall to get, um, that that would actually benefit us when we talk about gay marriage. Wow. That, that's a really wonderful synopsis. And I, I just want to thank you guys for your time tonight. Thank oh, you for thank calling. You. Thank I you. Call back anytime. To, yep. I, I wish you good luck in all of your endeavors, and I hope you guys really just start a movement. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Have God bless. You too. Okay, let's go down the line. Three. 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 Okay. Good evening. This is NLC Trans. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm on line. Yes. You're on. Yeah, I got a question. Do you think that uh, New London is embracing your cause? I mean, like, if you're in San Francisco or New York, I mean, it would be vastly different. You know, do you think that New London has stand behind you or stood behind you in, in what you're doing? It's, it's a good question. Um, it's, that's kind of a hard one to answer. I, I'm not sure that we really know, but, but I can tell you this, that, um, that certainly the big cities um, tend to be better for us. But I can say that, that all in all, the people in this city and in this area have been pretty good to me. Yeah. They have I, been very supportive of me. I've, I've yeah. really been pleased, um, I, you know, touched. I, I love this city, and, um, and, uh, and I think all in all, they've done pretty well by us. So. You right. Small, I wouldn't want to be in small town mentality in it? You don't? There's, there's, there's always the potential for that, but... Um, we haven't personally run into a lot of that, and um, it's a little early in our efforts right now to try and judge whether or not the community as a whole is going to embrace it or, or um, contend against it. Yeah, we are certainly prepared for whatever happens. Um, well, you definitely have you definitely have an uphill battle, and I wish you guys the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I, I guess I would point out as well that um, while we're certainly focused here in the New London area. Um, we're, we're, we're trying to connect with organizations across the state. There are organizations in Hartford and New Haven as well that, that um, provide similar kinds of support. And um, when, we, when we all get together, we can accomplish a lot more. Indeed. Good evening. This is NLC Trans. You're on the air. Hi. Hello? Oh, we lost that one, I think. No, the line's still open. Hello? Or not. Or not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they gave up. Well, by all means, you know, if you're out there and you want to call us, 
Please do. Oh, we got another one. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I certain. I should have had the IT person sit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this is um, this is very nice to have this kind of feedback from the community so yes, far. Yes, They're ready. Is. Okay. Good evening. This is Anelsa Trans. You're on the air. Hi, ladies. How are you? Good evening. Oh, thank you. I think that this is so fabulous, what you are doing. I am so happy that you are doing this. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. This is great. And I asked this question, um, actually, not only, I mean, I could figure it out myself, but just for other people out there who want to understand more about you and your lifestyle, because um, you know kids always have questions and whatnot, mm -hmm. what is the best way to... Um, uh, like, if, for example, my sister uh, has two boys, and if my nephews had a question um, about uh, gender or those kind of issues, how, how do you explain um, uh, your lifestyle to a child? Is that too big of a question? or well, No, that's a very good question. Yeah. That okay, is. thank you. Um, I, I, can, I can tell you, you know, it certainly yeah. depends on the age of the child. Right. But, um, but I, um, I, I have some personal experience there. I had to explain that to my grandson, who was um, about eight at the time. Um, and, and certainly the way I handled that was I asked my psychologist, who uh, obviously we all see psychologists and psychiatrists. I asked my psychologist how to handle that. And, um, and what she told me was, um, was very, very useful. And, um, and certainly this is something that would depend on every situation, and I would advise anybody out there that wants to talk to a child, they should probably consult um, a professional um, about the best way to do that. But, uh, but in my case, um, my, my doctor had told me to, uh, to simply explain um, to my grandson that, um, that this was about me, that it had nothing to do with him, it was not his fault, that it wasn't going to affect him, he wasn't going to change, and that, um, and that the person, you know, even though I might change and look different and dress different, that the person inside will still be the same. And, uh, and that was how I handled it with my grandson, and that worked very, very well. He was fine with it. Um, he had absolutely no problem, and he's, uh, he's still fine with it. And, uh, and I'm very grateful for that. He is uh, the light of my life. And, well, he's a great uh, kid. He's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's great. I think that's really important for people to understand that. And, um, you know, and I think it's, it's wonderful that you're educating the community. I, I think that this is such a positive step. Oh, thank you. And the best of luck in everything you guys do. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Good night. Bye-bye. Um, I'll, I'll address that, too, if we are not too busy. Um, one of the autobiographies, um, Wrapped in Blue by uh, Donna Rose, um, she also had to tell um, an 8- or 11-year-old son and explain it to him. And in her autobiography, she recommends, or not recommends, I shouldn't say that, um, she tells how she told her son. And what a lot of it amounted to was, was simply, um, all right, we can do that. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. That's okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get back, back to that in just a moment. Yep. Good evening. This is NLC Trans. You're on the air. Cliffhanger. Yeah, hi. I'm calling because um, I am not a transvestite, but I'm a cross-dresser. Oh. Okay. And I, myself, um, I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying I am a cross-dresser. Okay. But I agree that when you have a grandson that's four years old and he really don't know, you know, how to explain it to him, but especially uh, all the transvestites in New London, um, they, you know, they agree to talk to their grandkids, but I myself, I don't know how to explain it to them, hmm. you know, that I'm a cross-dresser. Right. It's a, it's a difficult issue, um, especially the younger the, the child is, the, I think, the more difficult. Although children, children always amaze me at how well they... Children are very resilient. Yeah, they tend to, tend to and especially now, children tend to, I think, they're a little more exposed to this kind of thing, and they're, they're, they tend to be very open-minded. Um, but so what is the difference between a cross-dresser and a transvestite? I'm sorry, what is the difference? There's, there's yeah. a, I, I don't know that, that people agree on a, on a term difference. A lot of people who consider themselves cross-dressers or transvestites make a distinction that 
that works for them. 